Guten Morgen. My hair's doing all a bunch of crazy stuff today, as per usual, really. Hey ho. Just so you can see the garage, because I know you like it. Right, yes, today is Friday. This, you know that XLS medical tea? <laughs> the name medical, as if it's a thing. Um, with premium matcha green tea to apparently help with weight loss and stuff. I don't know, I've only been having it a few days. Um, they say make it into a, a nice warm relaxing tea. And I'm like, nah mate. Put it in as little liquid as you can dissolve it in and then neck it, cause it's gross. Seriously horrible stuff. I don't think I'll um, make an effort to get that again. So once that's done, that one month supply is done, I won't be buying it again. I think if it works, then cool. Obviously it works as part of an eating plan. I'm not gonna say diet. Um, so I, if it does work, then I'll go on to tablets, but I'm not having the tea again. I'd rather pay full price and not have to put up with that. I've also got a yummy tasty coffee in my Halo Kale mug and some oh. lovely tasty toast with some big crunchy peanut butter on. Oh, and some more tablets. These are the I Promise to Be a Good Woman or whatever they call tablets. Five things going out this morning, two of which I've already packed. I did them last night, so I've got three more to pack up. And um, then pretty sharpish in about a half hour. Yep, I've got to go and get on the bus and go to Cowbridge and get my facey face sapped. Exciting stuff. Um, but yeah, I'll catch you in a bit when I've got had breakfast and got my shit together. Okay, so I shall quickly go through the sales, through the sales. Da, 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 da. Okay, things that are packaged up. So there's just um, a little bracelet in there, a little silver tone bracelet with like an Art Deco style bow on it, £7.19. Um, there's really cool like 50s collar length flower necklace, really cute, £11.99. An Etruscan inspired with a little bit of turquoise. I mean, you can't see through much through there, but sorry. Um, Etruscan inspired pendant necklace, twelve pounds. A scarf ring, four ninety nine, and a pair of Renata high heeled shoes went for seventeen pounds fifty nine. So uh, yeah, got to package all of these up and then go. Hey-ho! So we're in Cowbridge. That was the bus stop down there. You might have seen a little sign on the way in. Or did I go too fast? Probably went too fast. Anyway, there was like what looks like a jeweler's. Or it might be a sunglasses shop or it might be a watcher shop. Anyway, it's like Cartier on there. And seeing as um, the charity shops aren't open yet, I might just go and have a little peek in that window. And um, yeah, oh, I think it's just sunglasses. Anyways, oh well. Yeah, it's, sun, it's glasses, glasses. Got a spare Cartier sign there. Mm. What else is down here? I don't think I've ever been down this bit before. Shouldn't I like those ones? Mm. Hi. Oh, I have been down here because I've been to the old Wool Barn Craft Centre before. Little hairdressers. Oh, yes, this is. Um, pretty 
I've been here before where they had a little, um, like a little showing off of birds. So, and I held a Harris hawk. That was pretty cool. Coco and Co. They sell uh, dog chocolates in here and dog ice creams, I think. And then there you go. That's like the craft bit over there. Not open yet. Verity's Court. So it's lovely, isn't it? Over there, that's where I held the Harris Hawk. Arts and crafts, supplies. Ah, oh, cabbage is just nice, isn't it? Anyway, let's uh, see if a charity shop is open. bad so far popped into two shops and in one of them you might have seen I picked up um, a bracelet that said monies on it that is good a Lingard for monies and that should be about a hundred pounds and it cost me 99p that'll do right time to get zapped right so this is where I'm going the beauty within Medi and Spa but also tempted by Persian Oriental rug sale I'm just showing you what I'm going to have doing. Do you see all of my little red, like, tiny veins and stuff? I'm getting them all zapped so that they disappear and that my cheeks and here and around here aren't so red. Three sessions. Sorry, just so I'm just wearing a pretty ring there. Um, three sessions, first one today and then one every three or four weeks after this. So... Go get zapped, it's gonna hurt a little bit. I'll see you after anyway. Here we go, zapping done. You can see where it's been done. But I tell you what, I am so impressed. All the veins around my nose, they're gone. I'm so chuffed with like the first thing. You can see like a couple that will have to be done next time. You said you'll go around the eyes next time, round there and then the chin and then the upper lip there. Um, but yeah, I'm super impressed with the first one. Mm. Right, um, I might go grab a coffee now. Shit, it's the feds.
back in Bridgen now, doing a bit of shopping. Obviously something's been kicking off in town, to be honest, when it's near the bus station and when the crack place is up there and you've got the shittiest pub just there. Yeah, it all kicks off every so often. Um, Swelland redness is going down a little bit. It hurts just there for some reason. That bit is a bit weird. It just feels like sunburn, you know? It's gonna need some moisturizer on it pretty soon, but quick little waltz around town. Maybe pick up some lunch. No, I'll have lunch at home. Um, yeah. I'm back home and look, I look almost normal again. Oh, I'm so impressed at the ones around the nose. But um, I've got some of this to put on it now, so I'm gonna put that on and then I will show you what I bought today and also a delivery that I've got from Pretty Little Thing. Mum is out at Ikea at the moment. I sort of happened in passing, mentioned that I might want a new wardrobe the other day and my mum's like, I'm gonna go to Ikea and look at them. She's like, do you wanna come? And I'm like, no, I can look at them online, but mum likes looking in person, you know. Anyways, any excuse for her to go to Ikea, I'm not a big fan, but she loves any reason. Anyway, yes, what I was gonna say is, yes, I'm gonna have some lunch now because I'm hungry and put stuff on here. Good, good. Can't really be bothered cooking, so this is what I'm gonna have for lunch. Some honey barbecue pork grinds and some cheesies and a coffee yeah mummy's back from ikea and uh, i i got her some posh biscuits from waitress she has a hard one now yes um do you want to see what i what i got today yes right i won't show these folks the fantastic jewelry but i'll show you the the three really good that one is a good that's a good brooch but i paid a fiver for it but that's a good yeah. brooch um that I paid 80p for, mm. and it's sterling silver, mm. I know. And uh, this I paid 99 pence for, and it's Gerda Lindgaard. Um, it's got the money's tag, mm -hmm. vintage, um, like Nordic Sweden, I think, Swedish design. That's a hundred or so pounds, maybe even more. Give them neck. Yep, but the jewelry that I can show these folks now, because it won't be in a sparkly things video, a coral necklace, that was £1.49. A pair of the little fairy earrings. They were £1.50. A nice bangle um, with mother of pearl um, and tortoiseshell maybe inlay. There's a possibility that that could be Gerda Lingard as well. It's just not signed. There's a little crack in it, which is a shame, but it's still nice. A little Venetian mask brooch. This rather fabulous crazy chrysanthemum brooch a money necklace and um, this one button which is in Debenham so House of Fraser that was 49p this was 199 but I liked it even though it's cord but it looks like barbed wire oh my. that's kind of fun a St Justin brooch for a fiver that's the most I spent on something today but it's quite nice Celtic mm. shield oh no I, I did spend 
more. But um, that was one pound twenty. It needs its you know safety thing thing, but that's nice. It'll mm. close a new one. Um, I got a dog stamped foreign. Look at his little droopy face. Uh, he was fifty p. This, which is um, this was two pounds. It's quite pretty. Isn't that nice? Mm. The rickshaw. Like hand painted, well printed and then painted maybe, but I thought that was nice. This crazy lady, this Grecian brass, holding her snakes with her tits out. She <coughs> looks like it looks like um, Taiwan. No, 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 it's Greek. It's, it's Greek. Yeah, it's Greek. It's a Greek god. She's got an owl on her head. That's how come you know she's Greek. I don't know. I don't know, but she definitely looks like she's gone, hey lads, guess what I've got behind my back? I got snakes! And they're all like, yeah, you're fucking crazy though. Yeah, yeah. I can't remember her name, but like, she is a thing. It's not Athena, is it? No. And then I got some vintage... Hazumi, there's no cream. She's just looking. Vintage, um, tartany blanket. I mean, it might not be vintage, but, you know. It looks like a Welsh wool blanket. It looks yeah. a little bit like, it feels like a cross between wool and a synthetic. Because mm. um, it's not quite as itchy as wool. But I couldn't see any labels on it, but it's nice. And you know, it's nice for cutching up, but it does need a wash. But that's all right. Um, some Pimpernel birdie placemats. They do look nice. Dark yeah. chocolate, mm. ginger and orange. Mm. Uh, and then hideous vintage double duvet set with pillowcase. Isn't that grim? But Mike did me a deal and he charged me a quid each for this and the blanket. Because Mike likes me. Because we whinge about Tony the manager because he's a useless manager. Isn't he, Tony? Bloody useless. Shouldn't be allowed to just smoke in the doorway of the shop. Mm -mm. You know? But there we are. Um, and if he watches this, which I doubt he does, but you never know. You're a knob. <laughs> but yeah, there you go. I, 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 so I'm chuffed with my haul today. I'm chuffed with my face today. And yeah. I'll be back in a bit with some clothing that I bought from Pretty Little Thing, but I'm going to finish my coffee. Hello, I'm in my bedroom. I thought I'd do my um, Pretty Little Thing, only Pretty Little Three Things video in here. This is the knob of my bed, by the way, and that's a cardboard box, and that's the camera for filming overhead. In case you were wondering, like, what's all these weird bits? And then that's a wardrobe that's full of stuff. Full of clothes that I very rarely wear. Sorry, distracted. Anyway, clothes from Pretty Little Thing. What did I buy? Only three things. Only four things. Really? Yeah. It's a mystery. Right, what did I get? did buy four things yes so I bought a shirt a corset um, a skirt and a dress there we go so all in very um, interesting colors anyways right this is a satin shirt and I think I already own this one and I've like worn it to death so I bought another one because I quite like it. So this is the one. It's kind of, I think it's oversized or maybe I got the wrong size before and it was just too big. Um, but this is in a size large. I'll try it on and take a look, shall I? So here it is, and I tend to wear it just two buttons done up and then tied at the waist like that and then probably with cuffs undone. But I'm thinking maybe, maybe I could get some nice cuff links, like take the button and 
adapt, get some groovy cufflinks. I don't know. Anyway, yeah, this is a keeper. This was £16.20 because I also had found like a 10% off or 15% off voucher online because, you know, you just Google discount codes and there was one. So there you go, £16.20. This is staying because I like it. I look a bit like a waitress. <laughs> okay, next we'll try the skirt. See, and hopefully I can wear it with this top. I don't particularly need a new skirt or anything but who needs anything eh oh i'm not sure of this material it was meant to be leather look but it feels it's so thin and it does feel quite cheap and it smells of fish of that fish glue stuff i don't think i'm going to like this but we'll see you can't see it but i actually don't mind it so how am i going to get you to see it one second is that any better so, eh, wrap front. I thought it was gonna be a little bit too tight around the belly type area, but it's it's not so bad. Hmm. I think I might keep it. Um, that one was mm -mm -mm, Louisa black faux leather wrap mini skirts in a size 16, 11 pound 70. Yeah, sod it, why not, eh? Why not? Right, the next thing is probably going to go back. I don't know why I ordered it. Um, it's a black satin corset in a size 16. This is £13.50. I can imagine this is going to go back. This has been tried on and resealed, you can tell as well. So someone has already sent this back. So that's nice. Now I could go, It's again, it's very, very thin material. I could do that thing, couldn't I? Should we try that? Let's even see if we can get it on, shall we? <laughs> so I've turned around, turned it around to try and do it up this way. There's not a chance. Not a chance. That's probably why it's been returned once and now twice. Never mind. Never mind. So that's going back, so I'll have a £13.50 refund for that one. And then last thing for £4.50 is this basic charcoal v-neck t-shirt dress in mal grey. Um, feels quite nice, feels all right for £4.50. And it's a v-neck one, kind of oversized and slouchy, I think. I probably would have wanted it a little bit tighter. I think this is going to be too oversized and slouchy on me, but let's see. Uh, yeah, I was right. It is a bit too, for me, oversized and slouchy. It's all right. It's probably not something... Like, I'll keep it because it's £4.50 and it's something that I can just, like, throw in in the morning and go for breakfast in, you know. I probably wouldn't wear it out, but it's all right for, instead of gym jams, for just, you know, lounging around the house in. But, um, yeah, so my favourite things, obviously my satin shirt. Um, I am going to keep the skirt because even though it felt kind of, it does feel cheap and it does smell a bit weird, um, it actually kind of works. I'll keep this just cause and I'll send back the corset thing, which I couldn't even try on, but I probably would have sent it back anyway because it was just a silly idea. There you go. Try on done. Way. And now Pretty Little Things sponsor me and give me free stuff. That's how it works, isn't it? Yeah? I'm jolly good. Hello. I'm going to make myself um, pizza. Obviously not, you know, pizza, pizza. I'm using a Lodo base. Some Waitrose savoury and melted grated cheddar and mozzarella. Currently on offer there for £1.50 a bag, which is a good deal. Some pepperonis and some pepperonis. Some Mexicana cheese and some halloumi. I'm going to be eating a lot of cheese today. It's going to be a very fatty meal. I'm also going to have some kale. Maybe I shouldn't eat all of that cheese. Maybe I won't have the Mexicana. 
I want some halloumi fries, see. Anyways, I'm gonna chop some stuff up. There we go, this is my dinner. So a nice mm. pizza. I know it looks good, doesn't it? Mum's having quiche, which is gay pizza. <laughs> um, so pepperonis, and then there's some um, jalapenos on there as well, and two different types of cheddar. And then there's my halloumi fries with some uh, sweet chili skinny dips. And I've also got um, some kale, obviously. On my halloumi fries is some ranch seasoning and then on my pizza is also a bit of nacho cheese seasoning. Yum, yum, yum. I like how I put it in a wanky kind of side dish like you would get in a restaurant. You know, that's always fun. <laughs> um. Anyways, yeah, I've got to go. God, it's a bit of a mess behind me, isn't it? Um, Z and Bex are going to be on soon, but I want to get this edited together, um, at least that, before before they pop on. And then hopefully I can send it live after they've been on. Um, and yeah, I don't think I'm doing anything tomorrow. I should really do some listing at some point, even though I did 35 yesterday. So I'm listed up until Tuesday. Um, I heard a rumour that there might be reasonable weather next week. So I'd like to do something and go somewhere. However, I probably shouldn't go and buy some more jewellery because my overstocks boxes are full. Like my to be listed ones are full. There is no room for any more to be listed stuff. So I've kind of got to list some, haven't I? Uh, oh well. <laughs> no motivation. Um... Yeah, so I might see you Sunday morning, possibly, depending on car boot type things and live streams and stuff. But yeah, until next time, bye-bye now, bye-bye. It hurts. No, it doesn't. It's fine.